Hi students, welcome to NIRS Education. So as we are discussing the lesson <coughs> Crop Production and Management. So in the previous class we have already seen what is the meaning of crop and uh, on the basis of the different seasons why we are going to grow the different types of the crops. So depending on the season the crops are divided into two groups that is the Karif crops and Rabi crops. The crops which grown in the rainy season they are called the Karif crops and the crops which are grown in the winter season they are called the Rabi crops. So all the pulses and vegetables are grown during summer at many places. So remember this point. Pulses and vegetables are grown during the summer at many places and uh, nowadays uh, due to the, the good supply of water to all over the <coughs> country. So we are getting all the kinds of the vegetables at a uh, almost all the seasons but uh, some vegetables and fruits are there and they have uh, not adopted to produce their uh, products in all the seasons and uh, seasonally only we will get uh, the fruits as well as some vegetables so to grow these fruits as well as the vegetables or pulses or grains so some basic agricultural practices are there so the cultivation of crops involves several activities so which are undertaken by the farmers over a period of time so already we are also well known about uh, the different kinds of the activities which are going to take place at the time of uh, the cultivation of the different crops. So the activities are the tasks which are uh, going to done by the farmers those are called the agricultural practices. So the agricultural practices the agricultural practices are the preparation of soil, sowing, adding manure and fertilizers, irrigation, protecting from the weeds, harvesting and storage. Preparation of soil, sowing, adding manure and fertilizers, irrigation, protecting from the weeds, harvesting and storage. So these are the main activities which are going to be done to grow the best quality and quantity of the crops. So let us see one by one in detail about all these agricultural practices. So as we already know that to grow any kind of the crops first of all we have to prepare the soil for the cultivation. So the cultivation of crops needs a proper kind of place where they are going to grow. So the preparation of soil is the first step before growing a crop. So one of the most important task in the agriculture is uh, to prepare the soil for the crop production. So among those the turning of the soil and the loosening of the soil is the most important task. So this allows uh, the roots to penetrate 
deep into the soil and the loose soil allows the roots to breathe easily so the loosening and the turning of the soil is the one of the best advantage for the plants because this allows the roots to penetrate deep into the soil so the roots can move inside the soil very easily and the loose soil allows the roots to breathe easily even when they go deep into the soil so the loosened soil helps in the growth of the earthworms microbes present in the soil and uh, these organisms are the friends of farmers these organisms are the friends of farmers because they are going to help they turn uh, and they lose the soil and they will provide the humus to the soil that's why the earthworm is considered as the friend of farmer so in the previous lesson in the previous uh, uh, class we have already learnt about uh, uh, the soil uh, that uh, the soil contains the minerals water air and uh, some living organisms also so in addition uh, dead plants and animals get decomposed by the soil organisms so the microorganisms the earthworm which are living in the soil so they will provide and they will decompose the dead and decayed materials of the plants and animals so <clears throat> in this way the various nutrients held in the dead organisms they are going to be released back into the soil so the nutrients which are present in the uh, products of the plants and animal dead animals so they are going to release back into the soil so these nutrients are again absorbed by the plants is it so the all the nutrients which we are going to eat now so when the animals died at that time when they buried under the soil that time the earthworm and many microorganisms they will digest them and they will convert and they will regain the nutrients and they will release them into the soil so, so here only few uh, centimeters of the top layer of the soil supports the plant growth and the turning and loosening of soil brings the nutrient rich soil to the top so that here we can conclude that plants can use these nutrients so the turning and loosening of the soil is the very important task for the cultivation of the crop here in this picture you can see and also i hope uh, you have seen in your fields and uh, some students also got the experience of uh, uh, this uh, turning and loosening of uh, the soil in your fields so the process of uh, loosening and turning of the soil is called tilling the process of loosening and turning of the soil is called tilling or it may be called as the plowing that is a p l o u g h i n g flowing means tilling or loosening and turning of the soil so here uh, we are going to use some of the agricultural implements uh, uh, equipments so that are going to help the agricultural practices in a very good manner so the machine are the the equipment that we are going to use uh, in the loosening and turning of the soil is called plow so so here in this picture you can see uh, the exact uh, picture of the plow so by that uh, by using the animals uh, we can uh, prepare the soil for the cultivation 
so flows are made of uh, the wood or it may be by the iron so <coughs> if the soil is uh, very dry so it may need the watering before the plowing uh, the plowed field may have the big pieces of the soil called the crumbs uh, uh, in kannada we call them as the henteglu uh, those uh, uh, things are uh, uh, very necessary to break these crumbs uh, with a plank so the field is leveled for the sowing as well as uh, for the irrigation purpose so the leveling of the soil is done with the help of the leveler as we already know that by the uh, equipment called uh, the leveler uh, the plowed uh, ground or the plowed field will be um, leveled by the equipment called uh, the leveler so uh, sometimes uh, in the beginning of uh, uh, the cultivation process so manure is added to the soil before tilling so that will help uh, in the proper mixing of the manure with the soil so the soil is watered before the sowing then uh, that will help to grow the microorganisms that will help in the mixing up of the manure as well as uh, the soil in the proper manner so like this so many kind of the processes are going to be done in the cultivation of crops and uh, what are those uh, remaining uh, processes that we will discuss in the next session thank you and have a nice day